the current circumstances in Australia. Uh, a few people weren't able to make it up here, so a few people have been lucky to get on last minute. But uh, yes, yeah, five night walk to uh, Edith Falls. I don't worry if you do want to go visit Edith Falls, I don't normally walk it, I'm just jumping my car. We're shifting the overland telegraph line connecting water customers to Darwin. We're also looking for any form of wealth like gold, for example. So he came through here in 1862. Now, a little bit hard to believe, but within 20 years of Stuart coming through here, 92% of the Northern Territory was up for pastoral lease. It allows swimmers and canoers to uh, start going from the second gorge up. There's four main things that they do. So, firstly, and the most successful is that saltwater crocodile cage that you saw back there. The second thing is directly opposite us now, over the other side of the river, um, there's a red buoy. You might be able to see just floating directly in front of the boat now. So, uh, so we asked the canoeists and swimmers to stay off to these uh, sandy beaches, similar to this one just off the right of the boat in a moment. Um, there's been this yellow wildflower that's been out in the Northern Territory. There's not much of the wildflower left now, but it's, it's a yellow flower. Uh, it's called yellow kapok. It's what's known as a Jarwin calendar plant. So what a Jarwin calendar plant, what I mean is a uh, Joe and Kalanda plant is that they use um, this plant to determine what's about to occur. So when these flowers came out about 10 weeks ago, this, this meant that freshwater crocodiles and turtles had started mating. Should probably clarify that. Um, in case it came out the wrong. Yeah, so this has been a, a camping group. So about 50 metres from where we'll pull up uh, here on the, just in front of us on the left here, uh, there's a Joe and Rock Art site. Uh, it's been um, you cannot marry, you cannot have children with someone that has the same skin name, and it's been around for thousands of years, and it's basically a, a way for uh, to minimise incest, I guess. So you had two main characters in the movie. Um, it sounds terrible, but there was somewhat of a happy ending. The tour guide survived. So. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the canoeing guys. Um, as I mentioned, uh, you got the half day canoeing. Full day canoeing, you've got overnight canoeing. In camp at the 4th, the 6th or the 8th gorge. Our family recently, they got helicopter dropped about 30 kilometres upstream and spent four nights rafting down. Kind of pretty, pretty heavy. Uh, the same week I had two couples in their early 50s that I helped into their canoes. And I, their bags weighed a ton. I'm like, what have you got in your bags? No, they had all the ingredients to make margaritas. So they sat up on a rock in the afternoon and cut it around for about an hour and then sat. I'm studying what's known as sandstone convulgy formation. It's been dated to be 1,650 million years old. So about 25 million years ago though, um, there was a series of earthquakes in the area. There was this upheaval in the earth. <laughs> I normally only get it on one tour a day. Every year. 
and their nest goes underwater, they go holidaying to Southeast Asia. Remember those days? Dear bird.